Hi, this is David. We are continuing our conversation about Azure Monitor and Application Insights. And in this video, I'm going to talk about dashboards. A dashboard is a way of visualizing a bunch of information about an application on screen at the same time. And that feature is built right into Application Insights. So what I've done here is I've navigated to the Azure portal and I've logged in and I want to get to the monitoring, Azure Monitor. So I'm going to search for it right here, Azure Monitor, open that up, and then I'll, in the side menu here, I'll go down to Applications. I did a video earlier that showed you how to create an application. In fact, I think I created this one right here, GCAP App Insights. And you can say there's a little bit of visualization shown here, but really what I want to see are the dashboard. And if I click on this button up here, Application Dashboard, you'll see that a default dashboard was created for you when the application was created. This might be good for you. This might be exactly what you need, or you may need to customize it, or you may need to create a new dashboard. The first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to create a new dashboard right here. Create, you would select a template that's close to what you want, say Azure Inventory, and give it a name, uh, Dashboard 2, something like that and create it that way. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close this and close that. And I'm just going to edit edit this dashboard right here. So you can edit the existing one or you can edit a new one after you've created it. Uh, there's a button right at the top here, edit. And it by default opens up this tile gallery here. And this is for adding a new tile. Each one of these is a tile. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven tiles are on there by default. And if you want to edit a new one, let's say you want to just throw a clock on there, just grab it and drag it down here. And there are some options right here. So clocks don't have a whole lot of options. Uh, there's, you know, what time zone do you want to be in? I'm in central time right now, but I could change that to. Eastern US time, 12 hours versus 24 hours. Uh, let's just do that. I'll make those things right there. And if I close this, I want to make a little more room for it. I can click on this. I can drag it around. I could drag any one of these around if I want to. Put it where I want to be. This little ellipsis right here allows me to change the size of it. This one only has a couple of sizes, one by one or two by one. Click on two by or one by one. You see that it's that size. Let me go back to the bigger one. And then it also has some uh, customizations. Click on edit here, it brings this up again. They all have that. If a little ellipsis at the top of this one, for example, you can actually make this a lot bigger than the clock. And when you do uh, uh, refresh it, there's not a lot of customization on here, but you can just refresh that to, if it's not showing the most recent data. You also have for each one of these, if you hover over them, you'll see a little trash can, and that allows me to delete it and move it. So I can add tiles, I can remove tiles, I can drag tiles around, I can resize them. I can also resize them like that if I want to. That's perfectly legal. If I want to squeeze more onto the screen uh, with precious real estate, I can do that. Maybe I want to make it bigger to make it a little bit easier to see for the vision impaired, things like that. So all this information is available to you here. And if I want, when I'm done, I just click on save. I can give it a better name here if I want to. Uh, Let's just change that to uh, GCast App Insights Awesome Dashboard. How about that? And click on Save. It'll save all of my changes. Before I change it, I'll just move that over a little bit, just to make it a little different. Click Save, and it saves it. And I can always go back and edit it again. And as I make these changes here, and I want to see what will my uh, user see, I click on Preview. And this shows me what it's going to be like for a user right here. Go back into edit right here to go in edit mode. And then also if I happen to close this tile gallery and I want to get it back, add tiles brings this up again. And here I can add things, maybe markdown might be a useful thing here. There's different options for a markdown. Uh, I'll see, you know, dashboard, description, subtitle, demo, and here you can just put some markdown here, or you just point it to a URL that contains some markdown. But this might be useful if you want to have some special instructions about how to read this dashboard. You know, what are the most important things? Things like that. What am I looking for? Uh, and I'll click on that and say done. When I'm done, click on save. And now I've saved it, and there's my dashboard.
So in this video, I've shown you how to create a new dashboard, edit that dashboard, add tiles to it, change tiles around, delete tiles. Uh, it's a great way to share information with your users so that they can look at a lot of visualizations really quickly and get a quick update on the health of your application. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.